Hey, hey, YouTube! Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, I apologize. My voice is a little bit scratchy today. I've been having some allergy issues, but I'm here in the fox den, just kind of cleaning up a little bit. And uh, it's been a while since I shared a product with you. So, what I'm going to share with you is a rod and reel holder. This particular one is made by Rush Creek Creations and it will hold 16 rod and reels. So uh, I'll go ahead and show it to you. And I've got my rod and reels set up on here. You can see it's got the camo pattern and it's a round design. So all the rod and reels just fit around there. If I need to get to the ones in the back, I can just pull it out. As a matter of fact, let me pull it out so you can see it better. Give you a full round view of it. But like I say, it will hold 16 rod and reels. Now I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on here. But I have room for 6 more. And I'm going to show you these clasps right here on the top these little rubber they stretch out so even on a heavy rod like this a thick rod it holds it in there secure it's not going to come out and then at the base they have rubberized well actually that's just plastic but little round holes so you can put the rods in now I don't have to worry about my rod and reels falling over onto each other or uh, getting messed up, anything like that. But uh, yeah, I've been looking for a way to organize my rod and reels because before I would just have them laying up here or in this corner, laying up against the wall. Then when I needed to get something over there, they'd all fall down. So now this is a nice way to just keep them all organized. And when I need one, depending on what type of fishing I'm going to be doing I can just go and grab this reel right here you guys can see featured on my surf fishing uh, video from last year it's a Berkeley Fusion uh, rod and reel seven foot rod and it breaks down right here which is great and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that but right next to it, I got for Father's Day, my wife gave me another Berkeley Fusion surf, uh, surf fishing reel. This one's just white, where the other one's kind of a red. And uh, I've got 18-pound monofilament line on there. And I got my high-low rig for uh, surf fishing. And uh, you can see here... Uh, I don't know if you can see or not. Camera's not going to cooperate. But anyway, it's a 7 foot medium heavy action. It'll hold 10 to 25 pound test. I know there's a lot of people that say, you know, oh, if you're going to surf fish, you have to have a 10 foot rod. That's bull malarkey. I've been using 7 foot rods on the surf and off of a pier for decades. And I've had great success in years of enjoyment using a seven foot medium heavy action rod i've had that red one that i showed you for two years and not had one problem with it yet so i'm sure the exact same one that my wife got me is great i usually take two uh setups when i go beach fishing or surf fishing those are the two i'm going to take and what i like about those seven inch breakdown rods i've caught some pretty good sized sharks and catfish and blues on uh, off of the surf and never had a problem with the seven foot rod or the fact that it's a breakdown but what I like about that is because now when we go to the beach we usually take my wife's car which is kind of small but it's great on gas mileage those rods break down and they'll fit in the car much easier with all the other luggage we have and everything in the past, I've had seven foot rods that are one piece. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This rod right here 
is a seven foot rod and uh, it's a white hawk master seven foot but it, it's it doesn't break down and that's one of the one that I've got one of my pin 104s on so that was my other that was my second uh, surf fishing setup this rod it's a nice rod I'll probably use it for catfish and stuff around here local but going on a trip carrying rod and reels in my wife's little car it's so convenient now or it's gonna be to be able to break those rods down and not have to have one of them sticking out of a window with the window open you know for two two and a half hours to the beach but anyway I just wanted to share this Rush Creek Creations rod holder with you and my new Berkeley Fusion rod and reel if you want to see my other surf fishing videos from Hilton Head last summer just scroll through my videos and you'll find them anyway I hadn't made a video in a while so that doesn't mean I haven't been watching y'all's videos um, I do every day I appreciate you tuning in till next time keep calm carry on keep it outdoors